Today's topic is why most home baking businesses fail. So if I have to be blunt, let me be blunt. Most home baking business owners fail for a variety of reasons. But one of the main reasons I see happening all the time is that you guys do not niche down. Do you understand the importance of niching down? You guys, I'm going to go deep today on why, on five reasons why it's important to niche down. Forget the fact that if you don't niche down, you might fail, which is very probable. But I'm going to go heavily into the five reasons. So let me go right now and just tell you what they are. Number one, you don't have a targeted audience. When you're not niche down enough, people don't know who you are, what you do, because you do everything. And like my friend Marie Forleo says, when you do everything, no one is listening. So there you go. Number two, you're not able to showcase your expertise. Number three, you don't have a unique offering. Number four, you don't know how to effectively market because you, you just aren't uh, known for something or anything in particular. And number four, word of mouth. People don't talk about somebody if they do everything. They talk about people that are known for doing something. So now let's go ahead and dive in a little deeper on what those topics are all about and how you can niche down um, and, and how I can help you to get very specific. All right. But before we go on to that, please make sure you hit that subscribe button or that like button or you comment and you can even comment and say, hey, lady, this video sucks. It's okay. I'm getting better as I go. But yeah, I'm on the struggle bus right now. So let's talk about it. But anyways, just go ahead and comment something, like something, subscribe something. Please help a sister out. All right. So number one, uh, targeting audiences, right? Okay. So focusing on a specific niche helps you cater directly to a well-defined target audience. It increases your chances of attracting a loyal customer base. So if you don't niche down, and that's what this video is all about, the number one reason I see that a lot of people fail at their home baking businesses is that they sell everything. They sell cakes. They sell cupcakes. They sell cookies. They sell parfaits. They sell ice cream. They sell everything under the sun. And then when you sell everything under the sun, you guys, no one really knows you for anything special. So it's super duper important that it's okay to sell everything. And I think that's where the disconnect is between niching down and not niching down. I think a lot of you, as I did when I first started out, you think, well, I have to sell everything because I need to get a lot of orders because I need to make money. So um, if I don't sell everything, I'm missing out on the opportunities of making money. And so that is some, somehow not exactly true, okay? And I'll explain it to you. I'm not saying when you niche down, you can't sell other things. So let me just repeat that to you. When you niche down, it doesn't mean that you can't sell other things. It just means you can't be known for other things. So consider niching down as a way to get known for something. For example, one of my um, past uh, clients on my one-on-ones, her name is Samantha. This girl was knocking out drip cakes like nobody's mother, okay? And she was known for her drip cakes. She was selling 20, 25 drip cakes a weekend, but that's all that she did. She could make cookies, she could make cupcakes, but she didn't want to focus on that because she had a system for her drip cakes. And she found it fun and easy to do drip cakes. So she hyper-focused on making the best darn drip cakes around. And she got known for it. And her drip cakes became her number one selling item. And so therefore, that is why it's important to niche down. When you niche down, you can fine tune and find the right audience. And her audience loved drip cakes. And that's why she made a lot a lot of money. All right. Number two, expertise. Specializing allows you to hone your skills in a particular area. 
making you an expert in that field and giving you a competitive edge. So just like I mentioned with Samantha, she was known for her drip cakes. When you niche down, you too can be known for something in particular. Um, you can be known for uh, your cookies, or you can be known for as being the treat queen. You do the treats only. You do cakes and cookies too, but like your treats are what put you on the map. For instance, with my bakery, Ellie Sweets here in Miami, my guava cupcake is what put me on the map. Cupcakes are my niche. So I find, like I specialize and niche down, not, I super niche down. I niche down into mini cupcakes. So the reason why I did that is because the market was saturated with other bakers doing other things, but no one was doing the mini cupcake. And so when I came out, in my business, that's what I started to do. And I got known for being the mini cupcake lady and everybody would order for me for parties because mini cupcakes were the best kind of uh, dessert to have at a party. It was small and it could serve a lot of people. And that's how I, my business got blown up, okay? So I became known for that. Um, number three, unique offering, okay? When you niche down, niching down enables you to offer unique, and specialized products or services that stand out from the competition, right? Attracting customers seeking something distinct. So when you have a unique offer, like I had a unique offer when I did mini cupcakes for catering parties and catering events, I got known not only in my niche for cupcakes, not only in my super niche for mini cupcakes, but then I got known to be like the catering queen because I was knocking out catering orders left and right, like uh, one of these uh, people directing traffic at the airport. You go that way, plane. You go that way. <laughs> so that's another right, another reason why niching down is so important because you can become um, known for something. You get hyper focused in it, and then you have a unique offering. So I would have like party packages with my unique offer of my mini cupcakes. And that's why it was such a catering um, lucrative deal for caterers to come and order from me. And also people having parties would come and order from me as well because I niched down. All right, uh, number four. Number four is all about effective marketing, guys. A clear niche makes marketing efforts more precise and effective. Because when you know who you're talking to, you can speak their language, right? Um, as you can tailor your messaging and it can resonate with them and their specific needs. So think about it in this way. Imagine that you are a um, baker that specializes and is niching down in healthy baking, okay? Now you can be known as the healthy baker. And what does the healthy baker do? Well, she has different product offerings in gluten and sugar-free, right? Okay, so now when you are crafting your messaging, messaging, da, 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 I wish I had one of those like, what uh, do you call those bullhorns <laughs> right now? I'd so use it if I had it. But you can fine tune your messaging and speak to the audience that is in need of gluten free or sugar free baking stuff, okay? Bake, bakery goods, right? Because that market is super niche. Not everybody that is making beautiful cakes uh, are, are thinking health conscious wise or thinking sugar free wise. So when you craft your messaging saying, hey, are you tired of um, not being able to serve your child the birthday cake of their dreams because they can't eat it? Well, I've got you. I specialize in gluten free, sugar free cakes. Call me. I'm Amy's you know, you know, blank, blank, blank bakery. So do you see what I'm talking about? The moment that a mom hears that, it resonates with them because it sucks to have a child that can't eat sugar. I mean, it's terrible because sugar's in everything. So that mom is going to hear your laser message to them. She's going to go whoop right to your website and whoop right to your bank account when she orders her kid's beautiful cake. You see where I'm going with this? Are we understanding why it's so important to niche down? Can I get an amen? Can you drop a comment in the like? Uh, can you like this video? 
or drop drop a comment in the comment section. Yes, Letty, I get it. <laughs> yes, Letty, I hear you. I'm going to start niching down, right? Okay, and then last but not least, word of mouth. Delivering exceptional products um, with your niche can lead to a positive and amazing word of mouth experience, which leads to referrals, uh, enhancing your reputation, and expanding your customer base. Because when you're known for something and people know it, girl, they talk about it to everybody. Or if somebody, have you ever been in the beauty salon and you're sitting down, down there getting your hair dried and you hear the lady next to you in the chair talk about, um, oh my God, you know, Bobby's birthday's coming up and I got to order cupcakes. and Oh my God, I don't know where to go. I'm, I'm sick and tired of grocery store cupcakes. Well, if the girl in the chair doing her hair knows about Letty and her magical cupcakes, guess what? She's going to be like, hey girl, you need to call Ellie Sweets. They got the best cupcakes in town. And so that's why it's important to niche down because word of mouth can make or break your business. Make it, if you're known for something, it will spread like wildfire and break it. If you screw somebody over and they write a review, Oh, God help you. It can spread like wildfire too. And I think I'm going to do a video on that. Drop a comment in the comment section if you'd be interested in a video for that. So that's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that this video live stream or this video, if you're watching the replay, is helpful. I want you to know that I'm here to serve you. So I want you to keep coming back. Keep giving me your insights. Uh, and let me know what you want to see on this channel because this channel is brand new and I'm trying to figure it out and I hope I'm on the right path. But if I'm not, I am open to hearing what you want and making that content for you. So this is Chef Letty, you guys. Thank you so much. Peace out. Have an amazing day and I'll catch you next time. Bye.